So you'd like to change your desktop background. You may have just bought in your Mac and you like the image, but you want to change it to something else. I'm going to give you, I'm going to show you uh, the three different ways you can change your desktop background on your Mac, and um, also uh, what options already come on your Mac as far as images go, but also how to put your own image as your desktop background. Now this doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're using a Mac laptop, uh, computer, and it doesn't matter if it's a MacBook Pro, a Mac Air, they all operate the exact same way. And if you are working on a PC while watching this, the fundamentals are pretty much the same. So you can most likely do the exact same things that I'm suggesting and you will receive a similar result. So let's get to it. The easiest thing, the easiest way to change your background, I love this image, but I'm gonna change it for the sake of the tutorial, is if you're using a mouse, just right click anywhere on your desktop screen that is away from folders or files. So you want to click on an empty space, which is anywhere this image is where these items aren't. So I'm just going to right click and this window comes up. Now if you don't have a mouse uh, and you're using your trackpad, use uh, two fingers and click once and this should come up. You could also, um, alternatively, uh, hold down your control key on your keyboard and while you're holding down the control key on your keyboard tap once or click once on your trackpad with your mouse and this will open up now click on left click on your using your mouse or just tap once uh, on your trackpad change desktop background and this pops up so these are all the options that are on my Mac and this came with my Mac and all you have to do is click once left click uh, using your mouse or tap once with your finger let's go to let's go to this elephant and there you go it's changed and now if you're all done and you don't want to do anything else just go to system preferences and just left click on system preferences and then left click on quit system preferences and you're done now let's try that one more time and uh, but let's pick uh, something else so again you can hold down the control button on your keyboard and then click once on your trackpad to open this up or you can use the right uh, uh, the right button on your mouse and that opens it up or you can use two fingers and tap once and this opens it up so you have many options so change desktop background excellent and now you also have an under the Apple thing here uh, solid colors so you can change this whole thing to solid colors I'm just gonna click on one there you go and this is nice and straightforward for somebody who might have he uh, uh, seen seen <clears throat> sorry I had a little bit of cold lately um, a scene problem you know you, you don't want to overcomplicate your desktop now let's say over here you don't see the so the solid color options and you see the arrow beside Apple uh, pointing to the right just tap on that arrow once and then uh, using your left mouse button or just your trackpad and one finger and it'll open up and give you this option uh, for solid colors okay and, th and now you can also go into your pictures folder and use your own pictures and you know just again tap once on it it may not turn out well uh, your options if it doesn't are you see this is called fill screen so the image isn't as you can see it's a little bit too tall for my for the desktop screen that it should be so I would have to click here and go to fit to screen and there you go if I click hold and drag this away you can see that it fits but I don't quite like the blue border I'm gonna go back to my desktop pictures and choose let's say a mountain there we go um, actually for the next part I'm just gonna choose a solid background so you can see and if you're wondering how I'm moving this window around uh, to move any window around in a Mac you always want to move your mouse up to the grayer bar area uh, closer to the top and you left click with your mouse or you hold down um, on your trackpad uh, with one finger and then with your mouse you just simply move it around but with your trackpad you need to use a thumb and finger technique that I'm going to be teaching uh, in another tutorial but basically you push down on your trackpad with your thumb and then you move your index finger around the trackpad and you'll see that this moves around but your mouse has to be around this gray bar anyway I'm diverging now let's say you have an image uh, which I do right here and I love this image 
beautiful, beautiful tree, got the moon there, and I'm just going to go to preview and then quit using my left mouse button. And I want this image to be my desktop background. There are two ways to do it. The easiest way is to click, so hold down on your mouse button or hold down on your trackpad, and then move the image over into this box and then let go. And you see, it it's right there. It's got some of the border issues too, so I'm going to click here and go to, I'm going to click on the option right beside the image and click on fill screen. And then I'm going to see what that looks like. I'm going to go to system preferences and quit. And that still looks good. So, you know, I might want to keep that. That's option one. Option two, let's go back into change desktop background. Uh, and let's change this back to normal. Option two is you don't need to actually even go into desktop background. You go to quit, you just uh, right click on the image you want, and then go down to set desktop picture at the very bottom. So let's do that again. So on your mouse, you right click on your trackpad, two fingers and tap once, or hold down the control key and tap once with your finger and then you set desktop picture. And there you go. It's all good. Now, sometimes when you set desktop picture, you'll still see the blue border. That's when you have to go back to your change desktop background and change this option beside the image that says fill screen. It might have said fit to screen and now you have to change it to fill screen. And then you're good. And you can play with the other options too. Center it, which doesn't do anything for me, stretch to fill screen, you know, I actually think I might like that even better, which I do. And uh, that's it. Now, yeah, actually, I was going to show another option. Now, now, if you don't want to right click on your desktop, I will show you this option. Now, if you don't want to right click on your desktop to bring the change desktop background, the longer way to go around is go move your mouse down to your dock. Now, some people have their dock, which is what this is called. Some people have it over on their left screen or their right screen. But basically, go to your dock. And I have system preferences already here. But if you don't, and you have this launch pad, tap or click once on the launch pad. And you'll see some of my apps come up. These aren't the apps I want. So I'm just going to click once outside of the box. And there you go. We see a bunch of my apps. We see a game I'm playing, things like that. So now you have to find system preferences, which is right here, but you can also go to your search and type in system. You have to type it correctly. That's the key. There you go. So system preferences, click once, and now you're seeing all of the things you can do to change your Mac. Now you go up to desktop and screensaver, and you're there. So that's, that's a long way to work around, but sometimes people like to do it like that. The longer, longer way is go down and go to your finder window, go to applications, and then scroll down until you see system preferences, which is right here, and then double, double click. So um, click on your mouse, your left mouse button twice, uh, or double tap on your trackpad, and then go to desktop, and there you go. So you can see why it was a lot easier to just simply right click or two finger tap once or hold down the control key uh, and uh, click once on your trackpad and just go to change desktop background because the other ways takes a long time to get there. And that's it. I hope you enjoy this video and keep watching.